Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I have an interesting series here. Uh, given that I'm doing something in my backyard, I figured I'd share with you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm building an earth battery. Now, if you YouTube that or search it on any search engine, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of talk about how to keep a greenhouse cool in the summer and warm in the winter. I live in a desert cl uh, climate, and my biggest issue is the cold nights in the winter without tapping into the energy, the electrical grid, I want to be able to cool that or actually warm it in the winter time. I'll have a separate system to cool it in the summer, but I can use this earth battery that I'm creating for partial assistance in the summer and full assistance during the winter. It's a big excavation project. We've piled up dirt in the backyard. I don't think the family likes that too much. It's making it hard to get around. But you see I've got a big huge 18 inch culvert underneath there. We're going to drill holes in that and then we're going to have a uh, <clears throat> perforated pipe come out of that and into another one over on the other side. But because I'm limited in space, I can only dig half of this at the time, get all the underground ventilation installed and then backfill on top of it and then do the other side. Anyway, this is a project. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun. I have some leftover materials from other job sites. I, I want to just share what a builder would do and how a builder would go about building an earth battery. I actually designed this. I'll have to share this with you. Uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Right next to the chickens there. And it will be about a 35 by 28 foot greenhouse. We will do some aquaponics in there, some actual citrus we'll put in there. We'll actually have some permaculture at the same time, a real good mix. But I don't want it to be a DIY project. I don't want it to be ugly. Uh, my son's behind the camera says, it's not going to be ugly. It's going to be beautiful. And we are going to call this Peacemaker. Uh, it's, a, it's a project. It's a name that I want to give this, the Peacemaker Greenhouse. And we'll call this Peacemaker 1. And later on, we have some vision for Peacemaker 2 and Peacemaker 3 and however far we get that in our lifetimes. Anyway, this is Keith Kelch with How to Build Your Own Home. I wanted to have this series. If you're interested, it will take place during the summer of 2021. We'll do it off and on as we get some money as we build this. But hopefully we'll have this finished by the fall, late fall of 2021 as we fit this in here and there. But welcome. This is going to be fun today. We're going to drill holes in the side of this install some of our perforated pipe because the goal is during the summer the temperature at the five foot to six foot mark is about a constant temperature of about 52 to 54 degrees but we're going to we're going to bank heat during this during the winter months we'll capture heat high up in the greenhouse pump it down into the ground bank it and then we'll pull it out during the night to keep the greenhouse warm at night. In the summer, because the earth is moist, we're gonna actually bank moisture into the, into the ground. And because I have a cooler temperature, it's gonna have a slight assistance, not a full assistance, but a slight assistance in keeping the greenhouse cool during the summertime. So it is a big expense, it is a lot of work, but I have the heavy equipment and I had some extra materials, so I'm going for it. So it's gonna be fun. Watch us as we start to put this together and uh, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to make them down below and uh, watch us. It'll be fun. <laughs> wow. It's a new blade in there. It's just really... Wow. I may need to get an electric drill. <laughs> So we'll come in here with a with a vent right in here, and it's going to come at an angle over to the other vent that way. So maybe we find a better way to cut that. <laughs> that was not easy. Oh my gosh! This is going to work or not? But I know this is going to have more torque. <laughs> oh, it broke. My pilot broke. Oh my gosh. Who would think plastic was that? This doesn't work. We get a different drill bit. It's not got that nasty bite. There we go. Oh my goodness. That's pretty brutal. And 
we got about 30 more to go. Okay, this is what we got done for the day. Uh, just the, the main trunk line here. We'll have another one just like this on the other side. And all these pipes that are here will connect into that other pipe. Now I'm going at an angle because I have 18 of these pipes here. Nine of them are going to crisscross that way and the other nine are going to go over the pipe that way. And there's going to be about a foot of difference between those. I did it that way because I wanted to have the same length for every pipe. I thought I'd give you a real close look as to why I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, air intake, air outtake. So basically it's in the center of the greenhouse. So that's why I'm taking all these lines this way and all these lines that way. So when the air comes in, no matter where it goes, it has to travel the same distance through the entire system. If I did it, most people when they do an earth battery, they take the air intake here and they do the air outtake here, and that way they can crisscross like that, and as a result, every line uh, travels the same distance. But as far as air efficiency, moving air through the whole thing, I wanted to be more center in the greenhouse, so that if I have air intake here, I have air outtake here, and as a result, I can circulate it in the center of the greenhouse. Anyway, now we need to dig out the other side, straighten these out. They won't, these won't overlap like you see it right now. They will all be distributed and evenly distributed at least a foot and a half, one foot six inches apart. So we'll have a good amount of dirt covering each one of these pipes. So that's what we got done today. I'll give you another post on how we get the next section done. Again, we're confined on space here, so we have to do it in a piecemeal fashion. So until next time, you guys take care.